Hey everybody, uh, TGIF, uh, welcome to, uh, uh, Friday edition of Keith's Beer Reviews. Um, today's one of those days, um, I can't believe a couple days ago it was, um, a couple, three days ago it was in the 70s, almost 80, it might have hit 81 day. Um, great day to be outdoors. Well, today it's, I don't think we're going to get out of the 30s, it's cold, it's windy, it's rainy, and... That's one of those days you want to spend inside and uh, drink a nice warming beer like a stout or a barley wine or in this case a scotch ale. Uh, I'm going to do one I picked up here out of town, one of my recent out of town trips um, from a brewery I have done one before. I bought it originally just for the name because it's the Silly Brewery out of Silly Belgium. I'm going to do their barrel aged scotch ale or as they say, barrel-aged Scotch de Silly. Um, this was aged in uh, six months in uh, Bordeaux oak, oak barrels. Um, it's a one-time brew, so if you see it and you're interested, then I would pick it up because um, it says it was brewed once and uh, it limited to 13,000 bottles. Uh, comes in at 9% ABV. Got a nice uh, Cajun cork on there, so... So hope I don't struggle too much with this. These old fingers sometimes have a little, little problem with these corks, but let's see what we got. See what the see what the Belgians have done with a Scotch ale. Oh yeah, that's coming. That's coming right out. Nice little pop, a little bit of smoke. I'm gonna use my Duval glass today. I will. Uh, seal this back up 9% I'm not going to be drinking the whole thing all at once and I'll have some left to share so we get about that much in good looking beer um, some amber it's kind of a rich really reddish uh, copper color a uh, little bit of light showing through it just a bit of haziness uh, got a finger of a really uh, creamy Creamy looking, eggshell white, eggshell colored head. Uh, mixture, a lot of small bubbles, a lot of big bubbles. Um, I can't really see enough through it to see what carbonation there is, but from the looks of the head, it's probably pretty well carbonated. So, um, let me get a nose on this. Okay, I'm getting, wow, yeah, I'm getting, there's some toasted malts and some, uh, some caramel in there too, but I'm getting a lot of uh, like dried cherries. Um, that wine smell, I think, from the uh, from the uh, the Bordeaux barrels. A um, little bit of light booze, a little bit of that nine percent. Um, yeah, I like I like a light cherry red wine uh, red red wine smell to it. Um, some dark fruits. Um, uh, like a dark dried fruits like uh, figs or something like that. I'm not really getting any raisins to it. There's a light uh, floral floral aroma to it. Um, maybe even, yeah, a little bit of grape too along with that cherry. Um, but it's definitely got some vinous qualities that's for sure. I think that's left over from the, from the barrels. Um, maybe just a not getting a lot of not much oak in there. There might just be a little vanilla in the nose, too. There's a lot going on here, that's for sure, so let me give it a taste. Okay, yeah, there's a, there's a grainy breadiness in there, a little bit of chocolate, maybe, some caramels. Um, definitely getting those, uh, those uh, red rich red fruits there uh, in the background anyway almost like a almost like a dark fruit juice in there too it's it's kind of a kind of an odd flavor definitely for definitely odd flavor for a uh, for a scotch ale that's for sure um, cherry notes um, Finishes with the the dark fruits. Almost, yeah, I like figs. Definitely got that fig-like uh, note on the 
on the finish. Um, definitely get some little light hops, kind of floral hops here in the finish. Um, again, just hints of the red wine. Maybe just a little vanilla too. Um, it's a slight combination of uh, sour and sweet, mostly sweet though. This is really, really sweet. Um, seems to be a medium light, uh, medium light body. Uh, maybe, maybe reaching medium. Uh, a little creamy. Uh, Got some uh, decent carbonation to it. Uh, can't see that through through looking through there. Um, seems to be leaving a nice uh, nice lacing down the side of the glass. The head has dissipated almost immediately. Uh, so let me sit sip on this a while. I get a get a seal in this bottle, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been, oh, 40, 45 minutes or so. This is uh, warmed up considerably. Um, as it's warmed up, uh, the, the, the maltiness, everything you expect in a Scotch ale is gone. And basically, you're getting your, uh, your, your cherries, um, your grapes, um, definitely getting that Bordeaux flavor. This is almost like drinking wine, actually. Um, a dark, Dark red wine, but a wine, that's for sure. It's definitely un unlike uh, any uh, any uh, scotch ale I've ever had. Uh, it's good. Darn good drinkable beer, that's for sure. Um, but uh, there's almost a... Uh, this is definitely venous. Uh, the cherry notes are still there. The grape notes are still there. That's for sure. Uh, the dark figs, the dark fruits. It's a, it's a very fruity drink. That's for sure. Um, it's I don't I don't know. It's uh, definitely not a definitely not a not my idea of a Scotch ale, but it's a, still a darn good beer. I really don't know what to think of it. Um, I'm just going to have to rate it as a good drinkable beer. Um, so if I'd rate it as Scotch Ale, it'd, it'd be really low. But it's a damn good beer anyway. So I'm going to give the, from the Brasserie de Silly in Silly, Belgium, I'm going to give their Barrel Age Scotch Ale, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. Good beer, decent drinkable beer. Uh, if you're expecting uh, a Scotch ale like you've had before, this isn't it. But still darn good beer. So until uh, next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers. <laughs>